let's learn how to use the Leonardo AI Canvas Editor. So, as you can see in here, we're already on Leonardo AI dashboard. So let's talk first a bit regarding Leonardo AI Canvas Editor. So that is actually a powerful digital editing tool designed to help users create and manipulate images with ease and precision. So this feature provides a canvas where you can work on your images, allowing for various adjustments, enhancements, and artistic transformation. So to utilize this effectively, just a quick overview, you can start by uploading an image of your choice. And once the image is loaded onto the canvas, you have the flexibility to perform tasks like cropping, resizing, adding text or graphics. So you could also apply filters and effects. So this tool is particularly useful for graphic designers, photographers, and artists who wants to enhance or modify their images to achieve specific creative outcomes. So by using this, you can unleash your imagination and transform your images into visually stunning and personalized works of art like this one that are created by other users so for you to be able to do that you'll just need to head onto the left side of the screen simply click onto ai canvas in here and then you'd be able to get redirected onto another page so we have a welcome screen in here that welcomes us to the leonardo ai canvas so this is a full creative control at your fingertips so you can see a quick overview in here that the canvas editor will enables us to visually correct and refine details modify styles seamlessly extend content create composite artwork striking photo montages through in painting and out painting so let's take a quick look at some of the key features that are available onto these tutorials so let's just simply click onto next and as you can see you could upload an image and then you could select also the moving elements then we could draw a mask or erase an image and we could also use a prompt and generating feature we also have the control parameters here onto the right side and then let's click onto done so let's experience it firsthand so as you can see we're currently using the pen or the hand tool we also have the select button in here the draw mask erase sketch upload an image and we have the download an artwork undo and redo option so we have the prompt in here so this is where you'd be able to add in your prompt so we have the different settings also onto the right side you could see the fine-tuned model that we use we have our table diffusion and you have many more options also in here so we have the canvas mode onto in paint or out paint so we could change this one out you have text to image also in here we also have image to image and sketch to image so for text to image you can create a standard leonardo generation from scratch on the canvas disregarding the surrounding context so we also have this in paint and out paint which is what we currently use right now so this expands beyond the edges of an image intelligently or transform the details within it keeping the rest intact so we have the image to image in here wherein we could transform the underlying content subtly or completely equally versatile for touch ups or total reimaginings. We also have your sketch to image where you could transform your sketches into AI generated images, either freestanding or incorporated with other content. So let's just simply click onto this ink paint and out paint in here. So we also have here the number of images that it will generate. So we have here up until four, the image dimension, or you could select the resolution of the final images. So you could also create a custom one in here and you could also choose a ratio. So here we have the render density. It decreases the size and increases the pixel density of the generation context. We also have here the guidance scale. So this will prove how strongly your prompt is weighted. So you could adjust this one in some advanced settings in here, like you could add in a fixed seat. So this is the deterministic number for the random number generator. We also have here the scheduler defines how noise affects the generation. So let's just skip that one out and you could also reset this to default. And actually here onto the upper part, you have the zoom option. The plus one and the minus one so we have her at 75 percent and these are actually the keyboard commands so we'll just simply click onto this so that you could customize this as per your liking we also have here the navigation the brush and mask eraser some selection tools so now this feature actually perfectly works onto a landscape you could actually use this for other photos like portraits or anything like that but i highly recommend to have it used for landscape so that you'd be able to really achieve its full potential. So for you to be able to add in your photo, you'll just need to simply click onto this upload image in here. And right after you'll get an option if you want to upload it from a computer, from previous generation or from community. So we could try from community out in here so that we should be able to see some different photos that we could use. So as you can see, these are actually made by other users. And I think this one you could actually utilize this to have an example for this AI canvas editor. So we'll just need to simply click onto that and we could actually resize this image first. So let's 
and zoom. So let's resize this one like that. So what we're going to need to do in here, so what we're going to test onto this specific feature is we'll try out having this one expanded. So let's just going to look at like that since this is actually the main page. So let's zoom it a little bit like that. So, okay, perfect. Since we want to have this one expanded, let's head on to the information that we have onto this specific photo that we've got onto the community. So it is really important that you have this prompt details in here. We'll need to copy this one out. So we'll really need this one out since this will be our guide onto expanding this certain image. So we'll need to head back onto the canvas and we'll need to paste the prompt in here. So as you can see, we have already added the prompt in here onto the bottom part and this will use four tokens. So as of the moment, we have 118 tokens remaining. So this part in here should be where the expanded photo would go. So let's zoom a little bit and it would be really helpful if you put photo up onto the middle of the square or something like that. So it should be in here inside so that it would be lengthened out so for us to be able to do that what we'll need to do is simply click on the generate and let's see what it will give us so actually since we have set it to four there should be four types of extended photo in here that we should see so let's try to generate first and let's see what it will give us so as you can see it is still loading as of the moment so let's wait for that and just like that as you can see the photo is already expanded so it really looks natural so this is actually a really good feature that we have on Leonardo AI so let's try out the other generation since this are four so we could actually click on to accept or cancel this but let's try to check first the other generation so let's head on to the other so as you can see it has a different style or color so it still complements the one that we have in here but onto a different style so this is actually a really good generation as well let's head on to the third third one so actually the same so it still complements it and it is still a nice generation and for the fourth one we have this so it still looks like it still complements the photo so this is actually a really great generation that we have in here now if you're already satisfied with this photos in here just simply click on to accept for that and we have already added the fourth photo so that is the one that we have chosen so we'll just need to simply click on to accept to choose that so don't forget to adjust the guidance scales in here so that you should be able to see the different generation so if you don't like the one that you have already you could just simply generate again so that you could achieve what you want to see onto your photo so for you to be able to download it just simply click this download artwork in here and it should automatically be downloaded on to your device. So that's how the Leonardo AI Canvas works. So don't forget to experiment, have fun, and share your creations with the world. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.